Now you may have noticed that there are two of me on Gearbox today and that's because I've got two of these consoles but one of them is currently in a truck traveling across the Nullarbor after the CX summer roadshow where I've been using it for a demonstration. Of course it doesn't actually take two of me to talk about one console so you can go now. This is of course the Hedgehog 4. Uh, it's the smallest in the Hog 4 range and it comes in four different variations. This is the base model but you can add support for network as well as external touchscreen or even both of those functions and you can do that by downloading a software key. Um, on board the console has two DMX universes output on 5 pin XLR and four Artnet universes over Ethernet. Uh, it's very lightweight, that's the first, the first thing to know about this. It's got 10 playback faders, it's got a good little programmer section, it's got four encoders, it's got a touch screen, which for most general operations is very good. For some of the patching things, I found it a little bit easier to plug in a mouse and use that just to get the precision on some of the lists, but I find the touch screen is actually quite good. Um, the other thing that I found is quite good is that when I plug this into a whole bunch of very very recently released fixtures, it knew how to talk to most of them already. Uh, the ones that it didn't know how to talk to with a, a library file, I was able to use the internal fixture editor and generate a library file and I did that. Uh, one of those from scratch and the other one by cloning an existing file and then modifying the parameters that I needed to change. And that all worked out pretty well and I managed to get through it without having to read a manual which is even better. Um, Another thing that I really like about this is the fact that because it's not driving a whole lot of screens and stuff, there's not a lot of complicated user interface for the processor to worry about. Um, that means it's very snappy to operate. It's very responsive and I really like that a lot. Uh, so look, that's the Hedgehog 4, compact, great little release. You can use it as a remote for some of the larger Hog consoles and uh, I, I think it's a winner.